County, and they have just entered the classroom. The show that lets students try to prove that they are smarter than their teachers. And the best schools, they always have the greatest spirit sections. And Morristown, did you guys ever deliver today? Look at these guys! They brought cheerleaders. It gets me all going here. I just want to win. It's winner take on the cash and bragging rights. But before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. It's time for a pop quiz. Mascots in the house, the whole team here from Morristown. I love that, guys. All right, pop quiz, grab your buzzers. We have a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. You guys jumped on those buzzers. I know you're ready for this. So it's time for our pop quiz. The time starts now. To be or not to be is a line from what Shakespeare play? <sighs> hmm. Romeo and Jacqueline. Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. That is wrong. We're going to go for the steel teachers. Buzz in if you know it. Oh, come on, guys. Mr. Roth? Hamlet. Hamlet's right there. Teachers are on the board. Who sings the 2017 hit song, New Rules? Karan. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa's right. Students oh, yeah. fire right back. <laughs> Salem, Massachusetts is known for what kind of trials in the 1600s? Mr. Roth. Salem witch trials. Witch trials is right, yes. What is a sport where you slide stones across ice and use brooms to control it? Come on. Curling. <gasps> Curling is right. What is the first and last name of the model married to John Legend? Mr. Roth. Christy Teagan. Christy Teagan is correct. Yes, next question. What is the first and last name of the first American in space? Mr. Roth again. No, I'm strong. For the Steel students? Buzz Aldrin. Oh, and we're looking for Alan Shepard there, guys. Oh. Next question. What is the name of the Netflix series featuring Hannah Baker and a series of cassette tapes? Quran. 13 Reasons Why. Students right. What is the Roman numeral for the number 100? Jacqueline. X. Teachers for the steal. Good try. V. Did, did he get it under? Your answer? V. Incorrect. The answer was C. Nice job. That's it for Pop Quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. It sits at 30 for the teachers, and we have 30 for the students. We're off to a great start. We have the students and the teachers from the beautiful school of Morristown High School in Morristown, New Jersey. Ho are the Quakers. We got to meet some of these teams here, guys. Give it up for them. Big first round. Yes. Jacqueline, team captain, I'm so pumped you guys are here. You win $500. Where's that money going today? So that money is going to go to the Quaker Fund, and it's a fund so all the students from our school, they can go and participate and attend the school events. That's important, right? You need that school spirit. These guys, look at they made it here today, right? <laughs> school spirit in the house. I love it. Hey, and what's your favorite class? I heard you have a really cool one. Um, I really like photography. Um, shout out to Mr. Falvel, best teacher. <laughs> oh, big, big Falvel. We love him. <laughs> yeah. One person in the front. I was like, yeah, <laughs> he's actually just fine. He's okay. No, we love him now. Okay, that's good. And Karan, you're a big time music guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been playing the saxophone since sixth grade, and then specifically the baritone saxophone since eighth. And I'm in every single school band that, like, the school offers. That exists? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're the man then? Yeah. All right, you're a senior. Where do you want to go next year? Uh, well, it's not much of a surprise coming from a Morristown student, but uh, University of Pennsylvania would be my dream school. Oh, man, I think it's everybody's dream school, right? <laughs> well, they're watching today, so this is like an admission <laughs> process. <laughs> oh, and good to see you. Last one. You're a 10th grader. How do you beat all the upperclassmen to get on the classroom? I like to think it's my personality. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree. You are a good guy. <laughs> but, um, we had 
to write an email to Mr. Roth to see who was going to go in, and I think I wrote about living in Peru, which is where I lived before I came to Morristown. Oh, nice. So, something interesting about me. We have at least 20 Peruvian questions on, so you're going to do five. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, I let's hope give so. it up for the students. These guys didn't do well today. <laughs> Mr. Roth, making it happen. You made out the thing here. Homecoming fund is where you said this money's going to go? Yeah, so every year our faculty and our students, uh, we select a charity that we contribute to. So this year uh, this fund's going to help so we can generate, uh, be generous and donate even more. That's a fantastic answer. It's a great place to go. All right, you guys are going to love this. You can't see it. you got to hold up your hands. I've never seen someone show up with more accessories in his life. <laughs> well, you're a big-time accessories guy. I, so before teaching, I used to work in the jewelry and watch, uh, the jewelry and watch industries and travel the world. So um, i got to represent all the businesses I used to work with and and I teach business so I teach our honors entrepreneurship and our honors global business as yeah, well as working with our life skills students. You also so. jingle everywhere you go yeah, which you is know, fantastic. I don't need to text. Uh, Miss Noguera you're awesome you don't have as many accessories but you're uh, you've been into a long time teacher now and something that kind of goes with all this. Yeah I'm a video production teacher um, at the high school some of my teach, uh, students are yeah. in the you like, go teach, go. I love it. Yeah, folks on film, broadcast news, so we cover a little bit of everything. What's your favorite news channel? Fox 29. Let's go. <laughs> Ten bonus points right on the board. And Mr. Lundy, uh, personal finance, but you're a gold medal coach? Yes. Uh, over this past summer, I took the Unify, uh, Morristown Unified basketball program, and we actually traveled to Seattle, and we won the gold medal. That's all. That's Man. way to go. Morristown, proud right there. All right. We know everybody, and it's time to send someone to detention. Who's going? Detention. You guys give out plenty of detentions at school? <laughs> no. Me neither. I'm not a detention guy. I'm just no, like, I'm come on, let's just be best friends and we'll all just get along well. How about you guys? Get a lot of detentions? I have never gotten detention, so let's hope that. It doesn't happen today. Travel team that captain, happens. that's your choice. Here we go. Teams, put your buzzers down. You guys are going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide if you want to pass or play. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. But be careful, because if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. I can see you guys are already smiling. <laughs> Who's going to go to detention first? Hey, the winning team today is going to get 40 points in this round. Students, because you're tied, we're going to go to you first. Our category that you guys have is movies. Do you want to pass or play that? I play it. Yeah, play, we're going to play it. You're going to play it. Here's your question. In the 2018 movie based on a Kevin Kwan novel, the main character discovers her boyfriend's family is unbelievably wealthy. Crazy, 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 crazy rich Asians. <laughs> That's correct. There it is. First one's on the board. Hey, guys, just like that, take a look at these teachers who are smiling and so happy because somebody's going to detention. Team captain, who is going first? We will go with Mr. Roth. <laughs> just like that, Mr. Accessories is taking that long walk. Let's see, if you listen, if you listen, you might be able to hear him walk. <laughs> Take your seat in detention. Guys, why did we choose him? Well, we think he's the most dangerous. Ooh, that's good strategy right there. That's good strategy. All right, teachers, here's your category, math. Do you want to pass or play that? A personal finance teacher, TV You're production. Pass. Passing it over. Here we go. <laughs> to our students, and here's your math question. You guys get this right? You sent somebody else to detention. What type of equation has a solution that is a straight line on a graph? Constant. That is incorrect. We're looking for linear equation was the right answer. Teachers. It's time for some redemption because you guys get to pick one of them to send over to Mr. Roth. Who's going next? We'd like to send um, the other team captain, which would be Jacqueline. Jacqueline, buzz it out! That's the camaraderie we love. There's a little high five there. There's a little high five, like we made it. Students, your next category is sports. Do you want to pass or play? Pass. Pass. Passing sports over to you guys. What team won the 2018 NCAA men's basketball tournament? The students are so mad they passed this. St. Joe's University? Incorrect. The answer was Villanova from right here in Philadelphia. Boys, Owen Karan, who's going to detention? Uh. Mr. Lundy. <laughs> Mr. Lundy. Take the long foul. You just got set to detention. Wow. 
teacher. Here we go. Now listen, you're not out of this yet. Okay. Good luck. You got two that you can get right. Here's your category is food. Do you want to pass or play that? I'll play. All right, here you go. What cereal claims to be the breakfast of champions? Um, is it uh, Wheaties? That's correct. She's got the muscles out on Wheaties. What student is going to detention? I'll send Karan. Karan is out. Oh, Karan. And just like that, it's our 10th oh, no. grade student versus our TV production teacher. Oh. Owen, your last category is anatomy. Do you want to pass or play this one? I'm going to pass. He's going to pass it over to you. Here we go. Your answer. What connective tissue connects bone to bone? Ligament? Teachers, oh. just one detention. Owen, take oh. a walk. Students, you stand. Teachers, get out of there and make some room for Owen. And just like that, our scores are 70 for the teachers, 30 for the students, and we will be right back with more classroom. Sorry, guys. Ooh, nice win, teachers. Nice job. Hey, welcome back to the classroom today. We have students and teachers from Morristown High School in Burlington County battling it out right now. The score, teachers, you're in the lead with 70 points. Students, you're all right, too. You have 30 points on the board. Still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win. So let's get right back into it. It's time for some spell check. I heard you say Grammarly earlier. It's the thing teachers use to spell everything correct in emails. Here's how this game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you get the wrong letter at any point, you are out. If your team eliminates every player from their team, you win a big 30 points. If the clock runs out, each remaining player left standing, they're going to get 10 points for their team. You guys ready to spell? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to start with our teachers. Here we go, Mr. Roth. Your first word is future. F-U-R-T. F-U-T. Ah, oh, that 10 seconds got him. Here we go. Come on up, Jacqueline. Your first word is chores. C-H-O-R-E-S. Correct. Here we go, Ms. McGarra. Autumn. A-U-T-U-M. N. We were missing the N at the oh end of Autumn. Just like that, Karan. We can keep going here. Bronze. B-R-O-N-Z-E. Smooth. Nice Ooh, job. Nice. Here we go. Mr. Lundy, you have to spell this word correct to stay in the game. Quality. Q-U-A-L-I-T-Y. I think we all took a breath there. Woo! All right, here we go, Owen. Gigantic. G-I-G-A-N-T-I-C. Nice. Here we go, Mr. Lundy. Postpone. P-O-S. T-P-O-N-E. Just under the 10 seconds. Nice job, Jackie. Mansion. That was close. M-A-N-S-I-O-N. -S Correct. Here we go, Mr. Lundy again. Foreign. F-O-R-E-I-G-N. Still holding it down. Karan. Sheriff. S-H-E-R-I-F-F. -F. Awesome. Here we go, Mr. Lundy again. You getting tired yet? Tortoise. T-O-R-T. You are. And just like that, students are the winners of Spell Check. That brings our scores up to 70 for the teachers and down by 10 guys with 60 points, but we're not done yet. The classroom is still in session, but we come right back. Don't go anywhere, baby. Guys, shake it up. We just went around. Hey, hey. to the classroom today we have students and teachers from Morristown High School in Burlington County I've made my way out to the coolest people around what's up guys yeah. Good time. we got the Quaker in the house this guy's so peaceful and nice hey right now the score 70 for the teachers 60 for the students that's a big last round for the students who do you guys feeling feeling good about somebody definitely the students we're gonna come back come on we got this all right students here we go well smile it's time for picture day let's do it Picture day, picture day. They were pulling for you guys out there. 
That Quaker doesn't talk much, oh, though, yeah. guys. Does he, does he get you pumped up at the football games? Yeah. You know, yeah. he's yeah. dancing. Yeah. Nice, guys. Well, it's good to see you. It's good to see him in the audience. Grab your buzzers. We'll show you all a famous picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we'll remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture will win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal, so be very careful. We have three pictures today. Here is that first picture. And your clue. Many people knew this person as a reality TV star. Mr. Lundy. Donald Trump. Is it Donald Trump? That's correct, teachers. The El Presidente. That was a nice picture, too. El Presidente, teachers, nice job. That was three boxes. That was pretty fantastic. All right, here we go. Let's see our second picture. He is one of the most recognizable faces in Philadelphia. Mr. Lundy, again, the king of the three box. Philly fanatic. Is it the Philly fanatic? Yeah, it's a Philly fanatic. There's some more points for the teachers. Wow, that's a good looking fact. He's like the best mascot in the world, isn't he? Yeah. Not even, not even close, yeah. hands down. Yeah. All right, smile. It's time for our third picture. It is the largest amphitheater in the world. Mr. Roth. The Coliseum. Is it the Coliseum? Yeah, the Coliseum is right. And just like that, they just ran the tables right here in picture day. The score, 100 for the teachers and 60 for the students. But both teams still have a chance because it is time for the final exam. <laughs> topic of today's final exam is social media. I will ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, guys, worth 100 big points. Teams, you're going to work together and write down their answers during the commercial br uh, break. But first, no writing quite yet, guys, because we have to hear the questions. Here we go. Question number one. The movie The Social Network is based on the creation of what social media site? Your question number two on the final exam, what social media logo is a ghost to represent the disappearing nature of the content? And finally, if you see the letters FOMO on a social media post, it is an acronym for what? Okay, we know the question. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, we will see which team will ace their final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. We'll be right back. Hey, but first, here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Is your school part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Classroom today, we have students and teachers from Morristown High School going head to head. Right now, the scores are tight. Teachers are in the lead with 100 points. Students, you're trailing 60 points, but don't worry about it. The topic of today's final exam is social media. You guys are going to kill this one. All right, before I went to break, I asked both teams three questions, each worth 100 points. Now, let's see who aced their final exam and will take the money back to their school. The first question was. The movie The Social Network is based on the creation of what social media site? Students, we're going to start with you, Owen. Facebook. Facebook is correct. Yes, that's 100 points for you. And just like that, guys, you're in the lead. Teachers, Mr. Lundy, you got the board down there. What'd you guys say? Firing right back. He had the same answer. Facebook. Facebook is right. 200 to 160 of the students. Here we go, right into question two. What social media logo is a ghost to represent the disappearing nature of the content? Students, we said Snapchat. Snapchat's right. That brings you guys back into the lead. Right. Teachers, what was your answer? We also said Snapchat. Snapchat, which brings us to that final question. If you see the letters FOMO on a social media post, it is an acronym for what? Students, before you show, if you get this correct and the teachers get it wrong, 
You guys win this game. <laughs> Jackie, let's see what you have. And before we reveal the right answer, we are going to tell both answers. So let's see yours first, Jacqueline. We had no idea, so we said friends out making others. <laughs> friends out making others. I have heard that hashtag before. Mr. Roth, teacher said. Richard, we said it was one of our greatest fears, the fear of missing out. The answer for the win of the classroom for Morristown High School is FOMO, fear of missing out. Teachers just spent $500. Join us next time when we have new teachers, new students, and $500 on the line.